Good morning. It is day nine. This is Monday and we're still in this series, Thankful, Grateful, Blessed. And this is the kickoff video for week two. Although week two started yesterday on Sunday in our devotional, this is the first video of the week. So day nine, week two, and I'm so excited to talk to you and open this week up because this week we're really focusing on that word grateful, what it means to be grateful. Last week we talked about being thankful, looking back on our life and remembering the things that we have to be thankful for, the things that God has done in our lives that we can remember and not forget like the Israelites. We can and should remember and continue to keep that list of things that God is doing in our lives. Now, as we move on from thankful, the next word is grateful, and that's what we're focusing on. And here's something that I read, and I put it in our, in our devotional as well, that I loved coming to this understanding. And it's this, thankfulness is that feeling of like, oh, I'm so, I feel so thankful that this is, that this is what God has done for me. It's a feeling, right? And gratefulness takes that feeling of thankfulness and turns it into an action. So it's the feeling of thankfulness together with the action of gratefulness. Um, that's what we're really going to focus on this week is how do we show our gratefulness to God in our actions. And so yesterday um, I asked you in the devotional to take some time to think about how you can take your feelings and turn them into your actions of gratefulness. And if you're like me, if you're anything like me, you, like, I feel like I'm such an overachiever. Like I just want to be the best and do the best and have the best action to show God that I am grateful. And I think sometimes that uh, it can be a really great characteristic, but sometimes it also does me a disservice because I wait around and wait around and wait around. I try and I try and I try to think of the best, the absolute best, the absolute most amazing best thing that I can do. Um, and I think sometimes it's like a stalling tactic of the enemy and it wastes valuable time when really to show our gratefulness to God, we don't have to think of some epic, monumental, over the top, overachiever moment what we need to do is we need to show him through the things that we do every day. Our scripture for today is Colossians 3.23 and it says, Whatever you do, work at it with all of your heart as working for the Lord, not for human masters. And if you think about that, that's really showing our gratefulness. It's doing everything that we do. That means doing the dishes and making sure that we do the dishes so well we get off every bit of that grime. I know it takes a, a long time. It takes a little extra effort. We make sure we do them so well as if we're doing them for the Lord. That means when we're going to work and we're thinking, ah, nobody will see me leave five minutes early. Hey, remember that everything that you do, you are doing as if under the Lord. So if we want to show our gratefulness, then maybe we should actually stay working until five o'clock. And right at that five o'clock minute, then we can clock out and move on. But how everything that we do shows the people in our lives, shows God that we are grateful for what he has done in our life. And so I think today is a day that we should really focus on what can I do? Maybe what you can do is just singing us a worship song and showing God, I know how to use my voice. God, I want to use my voice to honor you. I want to sing to you about your gratefulness. You are good. Your love endures forever. Like we talked about last week, show him those things. Maybe it's just taking some time today to read a Bible story or read a devotional to your children. And so you're showing God, God, I'm grateful for the voice that I have, the fact that I have my kids in my life, that I, that I am blessed with them. And so today I want to use all the things at my disposal to show my gratefulness to you. So what can you do today? I would love to hear. So you're going to have to comment below wherever you're watching. If you're watching on Facebook, comment below. And if you're watching on uh, YouTube, then comment below and let me know. Let me know what 
uh, you're doing today to show God that you are grateful. All right, let me pray with you this morning. God, we are first and foremost thankful. That's the whole point of this whole series is to pause and to give you thanks. God, we thank you for what you're doing in, in our lives, what you've done in our lives. God, and, and what you were working our lives together for to show your glory. God, we want to show you our gratefulness today. God, give us ideas and ways to look at everything that we do as an opportunity to show you how grateful we are. We get to make dinner for our kids and we want to do that because we're so grateful that you have provided for us. And so we want to make a good meal for them. We want to keep our house picked up and cleaned up, not because it's a service and we feel like a maid, God, but because you've blessed us with this house and you've blessed us with our belongings and you've blessed us with the people in our life and we want to show our gratefulness. We want to do everything that we do today as though we are doing it for the Lord, whether we're at work or with our kids or we're teaching a lesson and Bible study or leading a Zoom group. God, I pray that everything that we do today, we would do as though we're doing for you with a grateful heart and a grateful attitude and that you would feel our gratitude through our actions, God, not just the words that we say, God, but the actions of our life as well, Lord. We praise you and we thank you, God. I pray blessings for each and every woman as it's the start of the week and it's a Monday, whatever their week has ahead of them, God. I pray that you would begin to transform their hearts and transform their minds, God, so that we can remain thankful all year long and we can begin to live a life that shows our gratefulness through our actions to you and to the other people in our lives. God, we praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Friends, I pray that you have an awesome, awesome, awesome week. And I can't wait to get back with you on Wednesday. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.